Hello everyone. In this lecture, I will tell you how to create table in Latex. So let's start TextMaker first. Okay, then create a new file and save in your D drive. All right. It is all. Create a folder named table and insert the table you save with the name table. Okay. So before starting here, I want to review quickly something with you guys. So here is the thing. So to create a table in LaTeX, you have to use this code slash begin tabular and you have to close with the curly bracket. So inside the curly bracket, you have to specify your column. So for specifying column, you can write L for a column of left aligned text, R for a column of right aligned text, C for a column of center aligned text, and this symbol for a vertical line. You also have to use amber sign between columns, double slash, is placed at the end of a row to start a new row. Is line insert a horizontal line and this code inserts a partial horizontal line between column 1 and column 2. Okay, let's go to text maker. So now I will create few tables and first uh, you call your document class 12 point ams art then begin document all right let's create a basic table so I start with begin table and here you have to specify a column so I'm, um, is specifying three columns one two and three so first column i want um, aligned left second one i want align a center and third one right all right then you ensure a horizontal line okay then your very first column Day, amber sign, second column, time, amber sign, third column, to do list. Okay, then you use another horizontal line. All right, now you have to use double slash here, and uh, now you have to ensure your second row so this is basically first row now you can insert your second row Saturday then number sign time 10 to 11 a.m. and in the third column you say go to super store this is the third row on day ember sign 5 to 8 pm ember sign gym okay the fourth row say monday ember sign 11 to 12 pm ember sign double slash and you say slash a slide okay now you can save your file and press f6 there is no error that's good now press f7 see you have created a table so your table has three columns and four rows all right 
So when I use the ace line, this means this second line, and the first ace line is a very tough line. Okay, and the last ace line is this last line. Okay, so now I want to show you how you can use your caption in your table. So if you want to add a caption, then you have to start with begin table and here you have to end with a table okay then here you can add a caption all right caption right, my table and you can also level this table so you can level my table okay Oh, sorry, so the caption will come actually after begin table. All right, now press F6. There is no error. Press F7. Here is your caption. Okay, now I want to show you in the table how can you merge your column or row. Okay, that is you have to use multi row uh, code. So for this, <coughs> I'm copying this table here. Okay, so now I will show you how to merge the column and uh, rows in a table. So for this, you need to load one package. There is multi row then we come here and use the multi and use multi column code okay so here you use multi column then for the number of column I want to combine it together and there would be the lines in center and the uh, name of the column. So I put multi column, put double slash, then we put ace line so slash ace. Line. Then for multi row, I can use multi row command. Okay, the first one is the row number. How many row we want to combine together? I'm putting three. Second one is the width of the row and the name of the row. Okay, and you have to put numbers in here, numbers in here, and here. Now, let's press F6. There is no error. Press F7. Let's open from here. Because I got my column and row marks, but there is a problem with this line. So I am correcting that one now. Okay, so you see you have one okay ace line here. So instead of this, you have to now use C lines because you want a line from column two to four. Okay, now press F6, press F7. See, this is now okay. So let's see from PDF file. Yeah, it's good. So you march your column and march the row. So this is the way you march your row and column when you need. I think that's all for the table. I will see you next lecture. Thank you.